I felt a spirit coming up through my being, through my whole body, through the chair, and it's, my whole head changed into the shape of a snake, and I could even feel the, the eye sockets. It was coming up through me and then receding back down, and, and there was roars coming out of me that were unearthly. So now this demon was attacking me, and I was rolling around holding my throat. It was coming in through my throat, making me vomit. I couldn't stand up, I couldn't get away. People were screaming, grown men in the hut. Everybody was deceived and, and thought they was there to get well. I cried out in fear to Jesus Christ. I said, Jesus, please help me. Jesus Christ, if you're real, please protect me. And at that point, I knew that by agreeing with the word of God and trusting Jesus Christ, I then was delivered. So I knew that Jesus had the power to deliver me. God of that Bible could deliver me from the evil that was at that point I knew was in me. So much happened in Tony's life, but it is clear that a door was opened up to darkness from a very young age. This set his life on a path of inevitable destruction, leading to crime and violence. At the point where he sought restoration, he found further decay. Aiming to free himself from the turmoil of life, he walked right back into the arms of Satan. Witnessing demonic spirits and discovering his own possession, he was trapped in a reality of fear. But in the midst of this darkness, he called on the name of Jesus and began to see his power was far greater than the darkness. He eventually surrendered his life to Jesus and through the prayers of others was delivered from witchcraft. You may have never dabbled with the occult or heard a story like this before, but Tony's story is clear that when a door is open to evil, it is only Jesus who can set you free. If you would like to see the full version of this story and other stories of transformation, then please visit itestify.co.uk. Thank you.